All right. Um, for this problem, a lot of you guys got confused on this problem because you forgot about you know simplifying. If you guys look at this, this is a compound inequality. We practice compound inequalities. One thing you guys just got to remember: if you have parentheses, we need to make sure we get rid of those parentheses. So the reason to get rid of those parentheses, what we're going to have to do is do our disjointed property. So if any, I see this negative two outside of there, what I can do is multiply the negative two times c and the negative two times one. Therefore, now I obtain negative two c minus two plus five. Do not make the mistake and multiply the negative two times the five. The negative two is only multiplied by the c plus one. And that's less than or equal to 23. Then, now I can combine my terms. Negative two plus five can combine to three. Okay, now there's two different ways we can do this. We can either separate it into two different inequalities. You can write negative seven is less than negative two C plus three. And uh, negative seven is less than, I'm sorry, grab it, right, rewrite it again. And negative two C plus three is less than or equal to 23. So remember our first problem we did? If you guys just wanna write it as two separate inequalities, that's fine. Well, how I wrote this like this, what I did was I put my hand over the last inequality sign and number, and I just wrote down that inequality. Then, if you want to, you can just simply solve. Then to get the other inequality, what I did was I put my hand over the other inequality sign and, and number, and I wrote that inequality down. So you can solve them as two separate inequalities. I showed you guys how to do that for a couple problems. However, there's also a shortcut we can do. Rather than doing it separately, you can do this together. And it's a little bit quicker. However, if you guys like this way, then do it that way. It's no, there's nothing wrong with it. But if you want to do them combined, what you do is, remember, you got to isolate your variable c. So to do that, what I need to do is subtract the 3. And remember, equations or inequalities, either one, you guys had a left and a right side, right? Well, here we have two sides. So we kind of have a left, a middle, and a right. So if I'm going to subtract a 3 in the middle, I'm also going to have to subtract a 3 on the left and the right side. Okay, Brittany? So therefore, I'll have a negative 10 is less than a negative 2c is less than or equal to 20. Now, I need to get rid of that negative 2. Since the negative 2 is multiplying by my c, I need to divide. And I notice that that is dividing by a negative number. So whenever you divide by a negative number, we need to make sure we flip the sign. Positive 5 is now greater than c, which is now greater than or equal to a negative 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say this out loud from the variable. Always when you're doing these guys, say this out loud from your variable. C, Dylan, yeah, you probably need to be paying attention when I'm doing that. C is less than 5, but it's greater than negative 10. So if I was going to draw a number line, and I said, um, let's see, let's do negative 10, negative 5, 0, 5, 10. I make a dot at 5 and negative 10, and it says C. All numbers have to be greater than negative 10. So that means I'm going to draw a line going to negative 10. But then also, the numbers have to be smaller than 5. So it's all numbers going less than 5. So where is it when both of these happen? Well, it's going to be the line is going to be your true points is going to be right between those two points. Now this is all points that are greater than or equal to 10. So that's going to be equal as well. So we're going to shade it in as a closed dot. Okay? So the only points that satisfy both these inequalities are when it's between them. Any questions on this? No? Nope. Okay. All right.